Well, well, so the official trailer for Shang-Chi has released, and uh, we're not going to waste time. Let's just kind of watch it. This is one of the movies I'm pretty excited for, so let's take a look. Throughout my life, the Ten Rings gave our family power. Oh, they're going right into it. Wow. If you want them to be yours one day, you have to show me you are strong enough to carry them. You are a product of all who came before you. Show you. The legacy of your family. You are your mother. And whether you like it or not, you are also your father. Mm. So two sides. That make a whole. I told my men they wouldn't be able to kill you if they tried. Glad I was right. You're just a criminal who murders people. Be careful how you speak to me, boy. Oh, wow. I thought I could change my name. Start a new life. But I could never escape his shadow. Oh, gosh. Son, you can't run from your past. Is that a dragon? Is this what you wanted? Are they fighting for the rings? Oh my gosh. You got this. Is that Wong? Thank you. That, that wasn't Wong at the end, was it? It looked like him because of the magic and the attire. But that's not Wong from Doctor Strange, right? But um that's a great trailer, I gotta say. So they're diving into the mythology side of things, I feel like, because they're talking about Ten Rings, and then Michelle Yeoh's character is probably going to be more of like the mystical side. But I'm still very curious about what the Ten Rings are, because they look more technology-based. Maybe they're infused with magic, who knows, mysticism and all that. But yeah, you get the father-son dynamic, and then you also get the other side of it, which is his relationship with his mother. So it's interesting that... They don't say like, oh, you need to choose one or the other, but two halves making a whole. You know, you have to kind of face the more, I guess, uh, evil side to yourself, the more darker sides to yourself and kind of cope with that or deal with that and then move forward away from it, I guess. I guess for some villains, they would like dive deeper into the darkness like his father, but it looks amazing. I'm kind of glad that it's not just going to be like straight up. Uh, martial arts all the time. Maybe it will be, who knows, but you know, you're kind of getting like a more mystical slash spiritual side, magical side to it as well, and uh, it creates a sense of wonder, and you kind of have to wonder at the end there, when it looks like Shang-Chi and his father <laughs> look like they were fighting over the rings, that got me pretty hyped. If that's the case, then I kind of wonder if he'll keep the rings, or he'll destroy them. We'll see. But, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it was so good. Um, and then we have, like, you know, Shang-Chi's journey, and then we're going to see where he ends up. Uh, the dragon. We got a glimpse of a dragon, I guess? <laughs> Isn't that kind of taking away from Iron Fist, though? I don't know. Uh, Kevin Feige has freedom to do whatever he wants in the MCU now. What did you think of the official trailer for Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings? Are you excited for this cast? I don't think I knew Michelle Yeoh was in this, which caught me by surprise. So I was pleasantly surprised by that, but what did you think? Leave all your thoughts in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching another video. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.